Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, playing as Ching China and Kaiserreich. So last time, we destroyed the traitorous Chinese called the Fangxing government, merely a footnote in history now. But now, their, for their allies, their puppet master, Japan, has gone to war with us, and you know what? We're teaching them a lesson. And before I get too far, thank you very much to my subscribers and my... You guys, you know, really you, that I missed guarding one tile here in Jing Zhao, also known as Tianjin, or south of Tianjin. So, thank you for reminding me of that, because that could have been very, very bad. Um, now, we shall finish off Korea, hopefully relatively soon. We'll let time go on. I think the Japanese really have not enough division to hold us back here, which is great. Uh, don't go that way. Just help out take that division. And we will take out Trans of Mirror. Now, I said yesterday we want, like, maybe a potential Russian puppet. But what history does not tell you is that China, the Chinese Empire, the good empire of China, Qing China, we used to own Vladivostok. It used to be called something else. I can't remember. But if you ever played Victoria 2, you would know that China actually should technically own all of this area. Or at least this little coast. So... I would like a reclamation of those provinces. Uh, I love learning about history that no one teaches you about except video games. Uh, gotta love it. Uh, but we're doing really well, really well. So here's 1941. We're in 1941, guys. Hope you're having a great, great year. When we're done with Japan and the rest of their puppet, known as Transamir, we will go ahead and begin integrating or claiming all these territories around here. Uh, I do want to keep an eye on manpower. Because we're less than a million, and yeah, we're China, but we also have total mobilization on. We only get 2% really of our total effective manpower. Whatever, you know. So we're going to raise manpower, and I want to buy more guns, because right now we have a small deficit of infantry equipment and support equipment. Pretty normal. We get 1.24 political power a day. We're doing fall of the Northwest Conflict. Um, traditional logistics, doing very, very well. Very, very well. This stuff, I could buy more artillery. I could buy some support equipment. Honestly, I would love to buy all this stuff. But we're also trying to reintegrate Haiyol Anjiang province. And that's up here. It's only a little less than 3 million manpower. All right. Research-wise, we're doing pretty well. We're going to get some more decryption for side channel attack. Keep keep it up, guys. You're doing a great job. Just help them out right here. Up, oh, please. Yep, before you move. Thank you. That would be delightful. Oh, we are not winning there now. Um, why is that? Oh, send one more division that way. They, that, well, that might be good enough to help out. Korea? Ah, this looks like the most optimal place. If we were to divide North and Southern, Northern and Southern Korea, that looks like the best place where we could uh, do such things. It is 1941. Let us get some more construction and then more output. Yeah, this would be the most optimal way if we wanted to split the Korean Peninsula into two. Oh, but now we have Seoul. Beautiful. Keep it up, guys. You're doing a great job. I really don't want to attack into... Over a river, really. They are lacking... Equipment? Is it manpower or equipment? Oh, they're lacking... Manpower. Ooh. Scraping the barrel, I see. And I do have some good Qing Chinese coffee. So, delicious. Oh, you guys are killing each other. I love it. Um, if my other Chinese warlords, could they kill each other, like, just kill each other off so you both become weaker? That would be perfect. Um, yeah. Aksu, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, this is, this is going very, very well. I love it. Up here, we're struggling. We're definitely struggling with this tile. The Japanese. How many men have we lost? We've lost... Am I in the Allies? Oh, no. We're, <laughs> we're not in the Allies. Not yet. Oof. We've lost 73,000. Not bad. Indo-Chinese Union has lost over a quarter million. We have fallout of the Northwest Conflict. The Japanese, though, have lost quite a few, in which we have killed over 200,000 enemies. Beautiful. Next up. Uh, prepare to breach your dams. I will not do that. I am not that dumb. Uh, lessons of the intervention. The intervention in the League Collapse has taught us many valuable lessons about modern warfare. We should put these to use before we deal with any larger conflicts. Well, that's a little bit late for us to do. Hmm. Just a wee bit late. 
Come on, hurry up, guys. Oh, the fading sun. After the utter defeat of the Imperial Japanese Army, our forces control huge swaths of land in Manchuria and Korea, whilst the Imperial Japanese Navy are reduced to attempting mere blockades. Our spies in Tokyo report severe dis dissent and war wariness among the populace. In the light of this, the government has called a two-week conference in Port Arthur to determine our war aims. Uh, we will accept Japan's terms of peace, so it will take about two weeks for the deal to be finalized. Be warned that all those at war with Japan will have to accept for the deal to go through. Rubbish, we push for total victory. I can't do total victory. Um, I will accept their terms, but I want... I don't care what happens. I want Transamir. I'm fighting them now. It's either I take Transamir and Korea, or we're going to be at war. Like, I'm going to do this. I don't care what happens. I must have Transamir. Keep moving. Korea definitely will be ours. If anything, I will take quite literally Vladivostok off Transamir if Transamir is not annexed by us. Like, that is not cool. I already took their territory. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to, you know, own or keep that and stuff like that, so. Oh, does our general have an upgrade? Oh, he's adaptable, though. Wang, he's such a good guy. You gotta get yourself a Wang in real life. Wang is muy bueno. Um, do we have a decision about all that stuff? Oh, reach out to the Ma families. A request from Beijing. Destroy the leftist KMT. Actually, we probably want to do that next, just because we don't have a huge border with them. But uh, they're currently fighting a bunch of the Shandong up there. And, oh, never mind. They got a lot of manpower. Okay. Uh, Maklik. Basically, everyone we're surrounded with, they're all fairly strong. Which is kind of not ideal. But whatever. Whatever. Keep pushing them, pushing them. You know what? I might. I don't think there's an event if we take Transamir, but I really want to reintegrate this into China. Like, I will literally just court just because that would be really, really cool. Ah, Southern Korea. Quickly becoming Chinese. Oh, Zhang Chi Huang. Quite the infantry expert and the drug user, but that's okay. We don't need to talk about using drugs in Kaiserreich. Everyone does it, so it's okay. Hmm. How's Europe? That is disgusting. Austria? Oh, that's... Oh, oh, geez. Oh, even France is pushing in a little bit. Uh-oh. Looks like the Reichspact isn't doing super well. Oh, no. Say it ain't so. Alright. Um, we're doing a little bit better on that. You guys are doing okay. Be a little bit more aggressive. A little more balanced. Let you guys get a little more balanced, especially... Ooh. No, I'd like to do that, but I don't want to get raided. Oh. Hello there. Ah, oh, the collapse. Uh, hold on. Of the Japanese Empire and an astounding reversal of fortunes. The Japanese Empire has been defeated and today announced a treaty ceding its mainland positions in Manchuria as well as other nearby imperial colonies. With its military strength shattered and the home islands themselves now threatened, the Empire has bowed to the inevitable ter terms and terms have been reached with their foes in Darien. Only a few short years ago, the Chrysanthemum throne was viewed as the preeminent power in East Asia, even in the face of the Reich. All that has changed, however, and the balance of power in the region has changed decisively. Though the future of Asia remains uncertain, it seems that freedom from Japanese rule has finally become a reality for the people of the mainland. The sun is fading. Peace with the Empire of the Fading Sun two-week conference in Port Arthur has ended in agreements. The terms Japan offered were accepted and peace has been achieved. We have been we have gained much, and this is nothing less than a great victory. Now what is Oh, I get that Yeah, no, Russia, you're not getting this. No, 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 no. Um, if anything, I'm gonna do this. That's mine. You go to hell, Russia. You go to hell. I will fight you for my territory. And since Transamir isn't alive anymore, I might just keep that. Because I think... I'll have to check after this episode is over. I want to know how much China used to own over here before it was taken from Russia. So, Russia, go eat, you know, bad noodles or something. I don't know. Leave us alone. But I will puppet Korea. Ooh, into... <gasps> Taiwan! Oh, we got Taiwan too. Oh my goodness, Taiwan. Hello there, Taiwan. Ooh, how much manpower do they have? That's not bad. A total of over 5 million, maybe over 6 million here. 
close to 6 million. Not bad. Um, that's actually really good. Now we can focus on uh, these other enemies around us. Yeah. Oh, Shang-Z. How strong are you? Oh, that they will be a pushover to a degree. Well, maybe they won't be a pushover, but with the way my army is set up, with the experience that my armies have, we should do at least relatively okay. Tactical bombers, fighters, yes, please. And let's let time go on. Maybe things still have to get situated a little bit. That's totally fine with me. Uh, oh, military factories. I love military factories. We need more guns, artillery, and support equipment. We have three, so I'll put uno, dos, and whatever it is in Chinese, trace. Uh, Fate of Korea, I will go ahead and puppet you. We will liberate a loyal republic. After the final liberation of the proud Korea, we were left with the responsibility of organizing the administration of the newly conquered territories, and I shall gladly welcome Korea into our hearts and minds. Uh, for this, our armies have managed to take control of Transamuria and is now occupied by us. We have a few options now. We can either puppet the line or take it for ourselves. Um, I don't like that I get hit with this, but I'm going to do it anyways. I will core this territory in the far future. Far, 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 far future. So, um, Just because that will be proper Chinese territory before we're done. It might take us 10 years, but it will be core territory in a very, very long time. And I want to Korea just because I can use their manpower. Ah, oh, hello, Kim Koo! Kim Koo! Ah, oh, they got a good amount of manpower. I love it. Uh, divisions. Ah, uh, Republic of Korea, welcome. Uh, Nash. Are they using. I think they're using my templates. Not bad! Um, eh, just like in other mods, this doesn't work perfectly. Copy the infantry. Looks very good for us train that because these zeely infantry divisions well they're just mostly just coast guards and if i can abuse korea's coast guard divisions i will ah nothing like a bunch of korean coast guards love them that's either that or they can be rooftops roof rooftop snipers in case we have any riots but other than that you know very good people very good people um the current... Oh, uh oh What's going on? The current motion. Something's happening here. German Empire, Japan. Why is Japan... Th their empire fell. Well, I guess maybe they didn't fall, but th they shouldn't have any say in this. The United States of Greater Austria, Belgium, and the Australasian Confederation. Restoration of Russian voting rights. Wait, what? Oh, so they're going to give Russia voting rights in that... From the legation on the legation council stuff. Cool. Well, I'm, I don't really care. I'll be honest with you. I really don't care. Oh, look at all these core states. Oh, we can oh, we can build more stuff. I'm building more dockyards. That are, that's good. We are building fighters. We're building a lot of stuff. I have. I'm already making some transport planes. We need more resources. That's going to be important. If and I can't get any more because this is Kaiser. I can have I did that. Nope. We get no more. I'm going to continue building up uh, civilian factories, just because we can trade them away, and that's going to be very, very important. Um, dockyards, uh, we'll build some dockyards there, maybe some more military factories as well. Of course, in time, I, I do want more infrastructure all over the place. That will be very helpful, but obviously we'll have more stuff to build than just what we have currently. And I will build some more stuff in... Korea, because, well, I don't want them to get too liberated. You have freedom. Just limited freedom. Oh, inclined belt cruiser armor scheme. Nice. Advanced cruiser hulls. Advanced light guns. Cool. Heavy ships. I definitely want heavy ships. That's, that's 1941. Let's get some more output. We can focus a little bit more on guns right now. Support equipment. Artillery. Good stuff like that. Mountain division. Awesome. Get ready for these guys. And actually, I need to st start stockpiling a lot of artillery. Um, actually, Governor Yan Zishan. Centralized fire control, very good. More soft attack, and we shall now get forward observers. Uh, is this Yan's... Oh, this is. I can just sneak attack or to continue justifying. 
If we attack him, Fang Jin is likely to join his side, which they're dead. Some of the more hawkish generals, however, have created a plan that would allow us to launch a surprise attack on Yan, catching him and Zhang Zulin off guard and giving us a few months to destroy Shangxi before Fang Jin could respond. Other generals have expressed doubts about this path, saying their troops are unprepared for such a sudden attack. Oh, we are going to be ready. Still, if this succeeds, we can destroy Yi Shan and his forces before they have a chance to formally ally with Fang Jin. Um, they're dead. These guys are dead. Um, you know what? Let's see what happens. I don't let it cost 10 political power. For 15 days, we lose some command power, but uh, I'm I'm in, I'm pretty much good to go. I mean, I don't know how I don't know how strong these guys are. They don't have a ton of manpower. They have a couple of divisions, of course. They're in mountains, which is a big problem. But they don't have the output that I do. I have 111 factories in total. They have six. Six factories. Not a lot. They do have a little bit more attack and defense on core territory. Whatever, you know. Uh, we make about a, roughly 200 guns a day, which is actually really nice. Four pieces of artillery, seven pieces of support equipment. We have a few planes. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty good. Qing is getting kind of large. We have... So much of China and proper Chinese territory, please. Thank you very much. Um, reach out to the Ma families. After we're done with Chang Zi, I will do reach out to the Ma families because I want the Ma families with me. Mm, buy a surplus of extra stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and integrate Taiwan. It's not a lot of manpower, but it's, it's something. It's something. Because there's not much else I can do here. Oh, I love traditional logistics. Ah, oh, we're, we're out of our deficit already of artillery. Glorious. Less than 10,000 of a deficit of infantry equipment. Less of a deficit of support equipment. General protest sneak attack. Really? While some of the more warlike Zili generals enthusiastically support Wu Paifu's plan to launch a sneak attack on Yan Zishan, others are angry that they were not consulted. They contend this plan is too risky and will provoke a response from Shang Zi. I don't care. No matter. We shall still launch the attack despite the protests. We go to war. Uh, the Fangtian government gets an event, which doesn't matter. Does, I don't really care. It, it really doesn't matter. Like, seriously. Do they attack me immediately? No. Do I, do I attack them immediately? Yes. Can we win in some places? Maybe? Yeah, in some places we will. Uh, what type of divisions are they using? Because we no longer have the debuffs. Like, the army debuffs sort of less attack, less defense. All they're using, it seems or appears to be, is... Infantry or militia battalions. No artillery, no engineers, <sighs> and cavalry. So, honestly, this ain't bad. And as long as the left KMT and Shandong clique continue to kill each other, I'll just push straight on into Maklik. We've got divisions guarding against Hunan. We've got divisions guarding against Sichuan. We've put ourselves in such an optimal position that I am feeling pretty darn good. And I hope you're feeling pretty darn good as well. Uh, Guo Zhizhao. A real top-notch general. Uh, what type of divisions are these? These are the 19 combat width divisions with one thing of artillery. You guys, there's nine of you guys that are only 10 combat width. Uh, I don't want to do this yet, but I'm kind of going to have to. And that's okay. I want to make sure that we standardize everything around here. Losses thus far, 2,000 versus 49,000. Holy cow. That's a lot of losses. Good, good. Oh, and we have a negative political power. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Do we have any spare planes? We might have some fighters. We've got some transport planes. No, we got some fighters in reserve, which is okay with us. We have made an encirclement against three enemy divisions, which is very nice. Uh, you guys, just go ahead and lead the way. You, you're attacking over river, which is really not ideal, but... We'll be okay. Lessons of the intervention. Very good. <clears throat> we can be tying up loose ends. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we have triumphed over the Japanese menace. Now that all that remains is to secure the territory we claim outside of the heartland of China, Mongolia, Tibet, and other far-flung provinces must be brought to heel. I'm going to focus on outer China before I focus on southern China. Genius. Genius. Uh, taking this tile is going to be... Really kind of a problem. If I throw another division in, will that hurt us? Probably. Uh, what's their manpower like? Some of our divisions have been hit really hard. That's okay. About the same manpower. They're probably mobilizing more. But it doesn't matter when shang -Zi has decided to say, Welcome aboard. Ah, oh, I love it. 
and we can use their factories. Good. Next up, what do we need? Guns. Artillery. All sorts of good stuff. My goodness, we need to trade some stuff away. German Empire? Sure thing. Aluminum. Oh, the Serbian Republic. Um, Austria. Get you one from you. Uh, steel. Get one. Eh, get two. I'm, I'm feeling generous. Let's get two of those. And get one rubber from the German East Asia country, nation, whatever that's called. Good. Continue to trade stuff away. That'll be good. We can integrate other provinces. That'll be great. Oh, support the AUS or P PSA? Um, really? If the Pacific states didn't declare war on the American Union state, the AUS probably could have killed off the CSA by now, to be honest with you. Uh, reach out to the Ma families. We're going to do that when we can. I want to get as much political power first as possible. Let's take a quick look here. So they're out of manpower. That's pretty good. Uh, they have still quite a bit of political manpower without being on all adults. Oh, you're both on all adults there. You guys have even less, but you're on scraping the barrel. You know, I said earlier on that the CSA was going to win. I don't know if they're going to win anymore. I, I don't know. This is disgusting. I think the Third International is really going to win. They've been pushing into Belgium more. Russia's at war. Oh, there goes half of Prussia. No, not Königsberg. Oh, no. The SRI is here, but then we have the Dutch East Indies who invaded Sicily. Anything else I should know? What is Japan doing? That's a good question to ask, since they lost. Hirohito is still there, national populace. Um, honestly, if they lose the war, their war support should go further down, because they lost. Of course, then again, they might have some sort of propaganda scheme involved, to the point where they're like, oh, no, we just, we're not there right now, you know. Maybe they have some sort of propaganda to help keep war support up. Stability's still relatively high. Seems a bit odd, but that's okay. How's this war going? It looks like the KMT is not doing really great. Which is, you know what? Fine with me. Oh, Shandong has got a lot of manpower. Oh, Bulgarian Socialist Republic has capitulated. That sounds nice. The Mexican-Italian War. When was the last time you heard of the Mexican-Italian War? Oh, there's left KMT, Shandong. So, half a million versus... 300 or third third of a million all right so be it we are slowly getting out of our deficit of political power as well as oh my goodness that's a lot of guns uh, is this America no this is China mm, do that go down by one go by no, down by three transport planes are looking good we could probably improve the number of planes we're producing Keep making more civilian factories. I know, maybe I shouldn't be making nearly as many of those, but I don't care. I want more, 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 more. So I can trade for more resources, so I can make more stuff. Uh, go ahead and grab one more aluminum. Because that'd be good, because, you know, support equipment, planes. Oh, and actually, we have advanced cruisers. Let's start changing this up a little bit. So we want rapid fire guns, ship designer module section. Oh, they're called escort cruiser batteries. Interesting. Good, that's a good thing. Good label, anti-air 1. No radar, that's unfortunate. Cruiser 3, secondary batteries. Ooh. Armor 3. These guys actually will be pretty... Not bad. Um, get some more anti-air over here. We're going to throw on some aircraft stuff. It's not great. It will be what it will be. And get some more anti-air. It's not great, but I'd rather have it than not have it. Glorious. We This will actually be... A pretty good cruiser. We've got uh, plenty of convoys. Keep doing that. We don't really have any sort of heavy ship that I really want to make. Yeah, these Valkyrie ships are okay. Maybe I can make one. I really don't have the um, stuff I want for them. You know what? Go ahead and start training. We have time. And we're not going to get to war with Japan hopefully soon. Oh! Expelled settlers. Nice! Ever since the Japanese imperialists have ravaged our homeland in 1910, tens of thousands of Japanese settlers have colonized our home. While most of them left after the war, some stubborn foreigners remain, and so we have to expel them. Good. I'm glad I had that type of decision. That plays into the lore of this more and more. I really like that. Ah, good. Take decisions. Very good. Anything else? Ten days until we can integrate Taiwan into proper China. 
I could send guns to support the AUS. You know what, let's do it. Actually, which one likes us more? Pacific States, they kind of like us. Oh, but Huey Long. Huey Long, he supports the Chinese people. Ma families, let's see what the Ma are up to. There we go. Please, Ma, don't end up like shang -Zi. They did not end up very well. Even in times of war, there exists a balance of power. Welcome aboard, my friends. Oh, my goodness. Can I integrate them? How do I integrate them? Hmm. Manage subjects. Northern Zili clique. Alignment chart. Oh, what is this? Chinese factions. Zili aligned. Federalist aligned. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing with that. Is it possible to integrate them? I don't know. I really don't know. If it is, great. If not, oh well. So now we're going to have a big old front line with Sichuan. And I don't want it. I want to just go to war with them. I need one more political power. Oh, hold on. So Ma Klik has agreed. Ma Hongkui has agreed to our request, formally recognizing our rule over China. Though they are still somewhat autonomous, we can further integrate them once our rule has been firmly established. Amen. Ooh, they sent volunteers to them. They have to... Bet as a puppet. I did not realize that. Oh, your Tibet is led by the 14th Dalai Lama. I didn't realize that was a, still a child. Curtail monasticism. Oh my goodness. Good. Oh yeah, do that. That'd be great. Uh, what is our production of stuff? Deficit of artillery. Not good, even though we just made another division, so that's kind of understandable. Deficit of support equipment is going down. Um, honestly, you guys can probably move on over somewhere else. Where are you? Where are you? You know what? Just have like a general front line. Or I could do something like this. I could use you guys as a concentrated force against Sejuan in the eastern section of the theater. That's not bad. Now, Sejuan. Uh, take claim state 65 days and a little over two months. They have a lot of manpower. They have quite a few divisions. So be it. Doesn't matter. They have social warfare, social war welfare, a province free from opium, so they don't like drugs. Well, obviously, we can't have that. Integrate, solidify control, destroy the leftist KMT in time. In time. All good things come in time. And we're getting a little bit more naval XP. Very nice. Let's see you guys. Uh, no one is really injured yet. Awesome, awesome, awesome. These guys continue to kill each other as I take out more of China. Uh, when we go to war with these guys, I will just fully integrate Tibet, Sichuan, all that type of good stuff. Tying up loose ends, good. Eradicate the concessions. The concessions long as long a stain on Chinese sovereignty have remained in existence for far too long. Macau, the legation cities, and the remnants of German colonialism must be brought under our direct control, either through negotiation or direct action. Good. They will fear the Qing manpower and armies. Oh, Latvia, you're still here. Latvia. Oh, this is a mess. This is just one giant mess. Oh, my goodness. Oh, another division. Very good. Very, very good. Oh! Reuniting China. Destroy Sichuan. Um, gain an annex war goal. Let's do that for Hunan. Let's gain that for Xinjiang. And I'm out of others. Oh, we can integrate my clique. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Indo-Chinese Union, you're at war with Japan, I thought? No, you ended the war, I think, yeah. When we ended it. Good, good, good. We actually have a full army now of 30 divisions. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Give us a couple more days. Let me see real quick. Very good. All right. Oh, even more divisions. And it sounds like I've been joined... With my Chinese cat Binky. Yeah, you alright? Come on. Come on. Alright. Uh yeah, we could probably deploy divisions somewhere else real quick. Probably like down here, really. Come on, Bink. Come on. 
destroy the Sejuan. Well, I, I could do that, but... How many more days we got? Uh, that's quite a while. Atomic research. I do want to integrate McLeek, but we're going to wait to do that after everyone else is dead. So, I'll uh, just do that. Cool. Uh, research. 1941, of course. Industry. Looking pretty good. Uh, fuel silos. It only takes 62 days. I should get some more extraction, though, even though that would really mostly help with steel. Pinky. Yeah? No supply issues whatsoever. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Maybe get a thing of planes over here. More divisions. Yes, please. Cool. Come on, 1941. We don't want to always watch America die or the Reich's Pact die. And we can destroy the Hunan clique. We can destroy those guys. We can destroy all sorts of people. And then integrate shang -Zi. And then we can integrate shang -Zi. Yes. Manpower, not bad. 800,000. Not bad for China. Could be better. Level 4447. Four, wow. Um, soon we will have a war goal against them. So the Chinese factions... On, who the heck is Ango Jun aligned? Federalist aligned. Federalist. Zili, good. Federalist. Does KMT. Ooh, that's not good. Zili, of course, the best. Mongolia is obviously good. Hunan doesn't care. Liang Guang clique doesn't care. East Turkestan doesn't care. And, of course, left Kumontang is, well, people that gotta be taken out. Um, artillery, please. Thank you. And now we can go to war with Hunan, Xinjiang, Sichuan. Awesome. Immediately go to war. There's, there's no point to just wait. Um, they're not attacking me. Our allies are attacking them. So, it sounds like a great idea. Ooh, can I go to war to... Yep, I can. Now, we might not win immediately. Really, the battles in the west don't really matter. Because I think most of the eastern provinces are probably more important than these guys. 1 out of 25 slots unlocked, you have 1 out of 25, you have 12, 9, 3, 10. Definitely the east is more important, so ramp it up a little higher. And then we'll take out Hunan. And then we'll take out, pretty much, what about Yunnan? Was Yunnan not here? Ah, uh, someone is injured or wounded, I didn't read. Whatever. <laughs> Good, we are, we are... Finally, in 1941, unifying China proper. We take Shangzi, we've got Ma, and we've got Mongolia. We've got this little Pacific Strip. We have Korea. We're taking out Sichuan. We are doing fabulous. But the end of this campaign will result in me invading Japan, so that this, so that they never attack any other Asian country, especially us, for the rest of history. That is our goal. All right, now, guys. Go a little bit more crazy. I'm okay with a little bit of craziness. Probably because I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, ooh, another mountain division. Those are always welcomed in my armies. Losses thus far, 3,000, really 5,000 in total versus... Wow, that's a lot of losses. Another division, good. Zekong Hydropower. Oh, they still got a lot of manpower, so it doesn't really matter. Come on, come on, you guys have this. I'll help him out. Oh, Wang, do you get something for us? No? Okay. Anyone here have... Nope. Anyone here? Nope. That's okay. You're doing a great job, guys. We got 18 naval experience. Good. Advanced cruisers. I need to start doing some radar and doing some other stuff as well. Um, the I know these ships aren't good. Oh, I need to actually... I need to research more stuff. Oh, I need more steel, too. Uh, I wish I could make steel factories. That'd be kind of nice. <gasps> no! The Kaiser Wilhelm II is dead. No, not in the middle of a war. Oh. The German emperor has died of a pulmonary em embolism in his home today. An end truly of an era. Oh, and actually, Austria, you're not doing too bad. You can make a massive encirclement if you just snipe this tile. 
Oh, that'd be brutal. Yeah, this is probably one of the worst times the Kaiser could die in the middle of a war. <laughs> Wilhelm III is like, mm, someone help me. Despite lackluster performance as a commander of German Army Group B during the Valkyrie, was hailed as a hero upon his return home. Oh, he looks kind of like, oh my god, help me, help me, help me. Ah, uh, you know, I would give this to McLeek, but I'm, I'm trying to unify everyone, so, yeah, no. Good job, guys. Thank you, Ma. Thank you very much. Hunan, um, I hear you got some good tasty food down there. You're not my puppet, are you? No, you're, we're just allied. We're just merely allied. Destroy. Oh, there he goes. Destroy. Oh, I can declare war on them immediately. It's kind of nice. Integrate. I'll do that after the coast is done. Eradicate the concessions. China United. Oh, that's going to take quite a while to do. And I'm pretty much out of focuses already. I'm not going to breach the dam. Oh, I guess I could get the decision. Let's do that at least. A shocking plan has been developed by senior Zili strategists. The breaching of major dams along the Yellow River. This would cause widespread flooding and halt any enemy advances. The cost in civilian casualties and economic damage, however, would be immense. I'm just doing it because we can. Mm, threaten the legation cities. We'll do that once we have all of China. Most of China already under us. Good. We got another factory I saw. We're making more dockyards. We're making more military factories. We're doing great. We're doing Poo Yi's work. Poo Yi. Oh, what an emperor. Truly one of the best. And oh my goodness, we're going to need to raise the infrastructure levels here because they're really bad. Do I have. I probably don't have logistic companies on these guys. Oh, definitely not on you guys. How about you, though? Field hospitals? I don't have the support equipment enough for that. Oh my goodness. Why is this. Always so bad. It's always terrible. Do that. I need some more stuff. Ah, oh, forward observers, more reinforce rate and recon. Fuel storage, do that. Am I even using recon? Ah, yeah, it might be. Logistics is pretty good to do as well. Alright, let you guys get situated. How strong is Hunan? We got a good amount of divisions, manpower, standardized equipment production, very good. Honestly, at this point, you could probably just go ahead. I don't need to call in my allies, it won't matter. Well, actually, it might matter. We're not exactly winning immediately. That's alright, though. That's alright. It just takes time. And. We losing, we winning. We doing okay, we're getting hungry, maybe. Like, how are, how's things going? We lost 411 versus 7,000 so far. Not bad. I kind of wish I could see... I wish kind of the the D-Bots, the Army D-Bots, were more of a national spirit. So at least you could see your enemies or your allies seeing how much more effort they need, how much... how well they can do. It would kind of help. I mean, maybe they could put that in the Chinese faction. But then again, why would one nation tell you how well they're doing compared to someone else? I guess I kind of under, I see that. Ah, we can breach some dams. I definitely do want China United. But right now... We could suppress our subjects, but let's not do that. Let's get some construction engineering to continue building infrastructure. And some other stuff as well. I think that would be good for everybody. Um, yeah. Really, anything else? Equipment refitting? Production costs? Uh, that's not bad. Almost. Actually, you know what? Let's not do anything. Let's not do a focus so I get a ton of political power now. Breach the dam. Yeah, holy cow, minus 20% stability? Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. Oh, when removed, gain base stability plus 2.5%. Reuniting China. Oh, yeah, we definitely want that. Oh, okay, well, Hunan's going to die faster than I expected. That's good, And but unfortunately, that is all the time that we have for today. We are doing amazing. I am really happy with the progress of this campaign, and I hope you are as well. So tomorrow, this is a really snaky China, but we're going to take out Yunnan, we're going to take out Liang Guang, left Kumanteng, integrate McLeek. We're going to do so much, we're going to have one thick Qing China. And you know what? Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, 
Check out my Discord link tomorrow, and I will see you tomorrow when we will be doing an immensely great job at reuniting China. Thanks for watching, guys, and I really, really hope you enjoyed this video.